Hi everybody, it's Faith from Party Santero. I hope everyone is well. Cancer, it's time to throw down for you guys for the first half of June. This reading will be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it does not resonate, that's okay too. It's a general reading. It's not going to resonate with every Cancer. If you want something to resonate a little bit better, check your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign reading. Or I am available for personals. The information on that is in the description of this video and in the about section of our channel. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa may play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And you guys are welcome here too. Come on in, have a seat. All right, it's time to have some fun, throw down some cards. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cancer, why are you here? The moon. Questionable things happening. There's a forest and then there are trees, I promise. There is. Things are foggy. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Five of Swords. You feel like they've been through it and they are finally starting to pick up the pieces. Okay, what do you think of them? High Priestess. You s could see them as an extremely intuitive person or you feel a very powerful connection. Like one of those deja vu things, like if you don't know them very well or haven't known them very long, there's a lot of similarities possibly, or you feel like you've known them forever. That's the vibe I'm getting off of that right now. What do you want from them? Knight of Pentacles. You either want to give or receive that stable solid offer you could potentially want the commitment but you want to take your time doing it potentially because there's just way too many unknowns okay how do they feel about you empress oh my god cancer this is amazing this is amazing They could potentially feel like you're the one. That's cool. They feel like it could grow with you. What do they think of you? Seven of Wands reversed. <sighs> they might feel like you're. Little, they might think you're a little bit out of control. Possibly. It was my son's teacher. I had to check it. Possibly a little bit out of control. Maybe still dealing with a few inner demons. I don't know. Or you're coming out of that state. I'll throw a clarifier on it in a second. What do they want from you? The death card. Oh, wow. Amazing. That's death, birth, and resurrection. That's deep, profound, spiritual change. That is amazing. I'm going to throw a clarifier on it.
but they want this to bring about change, like on a spiritual freaking level. On a soul level. That's deep. There's a deep connection here. All right, what's the obstacle? Three of Wands reversed. Someone's no longer willing to wait. I think it could be them because by the looks of things, you want to take it slow because there, there's still too many unknowns. All right. Um, what can be done? Star in reverse. Oh my. What can be done, what needs to be done. There's a healing that hasn't taken place. The cat's being playful. <laughs> All right, let's get a clarifier. The cat's being distracting right now too. A little turd. All right, universe, source, and spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards on the tip of Cancer for the first half of June, please? Whoa, not really too much. I need to clarify. Just a couple. This might go quick. I didn't say it, but I was looking at this one, the Five of Swords, how you feel about them picking at pieces, the Judgment Reverse popped out. This may be that too many unknown. Fives of the cards have changed. Judgment reversed. It's a card of potential return. Mm, this may be why you want to take it slow, Cancer, because you're kind of getting the vibe that there's a possibility they may return to something else. There's lots of ways to pick up pieces after a battle. Quick explanation. Three of Swords, the Heartbreak. Four of Swords, the collecting your thoughts and processing period after the heartbreak. The Five of Swords, the picking up the pieces part. It's that unknown. All right. Oh, what the heck. Throw one on all of them. Why is the High Priestess here? Why is the High Priestess here? You knew I was going to do it. Sun card reversed. You feel the connection. It's powerful. It's mutual. But it's still very sketchy for you. It may not be to the same degree.
by the looks of things over here, they think you're the one, or they feel like you're the one. But seven of wands reversed. You're still very, very, very. I don't know. There's still something you're battling. There's still something beating you down, holding you back. We'll get it in a second. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Hanged man came out sideways. If I tip it this way, crying out loud. I hate it when the story splits. So we'll tell them both. And one's going to resonate with some of you. The other one's going to resonate with some of you. That's how this works. So you want to take it slow. You want the stability. You want the abundance. You want the lasting relationship. You are going to throw another one on it. You could potentially... Okay. If it's upside down, somebody's still a little bit hung up. Page of Cups reversed. You want it to be more than just words. If it's right side up. Oh my! This is not a toxic connection devil card, and y'all know what the other meaning of the devil card is. A little something, something. A little something, something. You want the passion. You want that for sure deep, strong connection. You want them to be completely obsessed with you and only you. Wow. Okay. So you want to be the only one. And you're kind of catching the vibe that their thoughts might be with someone else. Hmm. Okay. Well, why is the Empress here? Okay. Fair enough. Why is the Empress here? Four of Swords. They feel like you're the one, but you're still processing your own heartbreak. You're still in the process of laying something to rest yourself. Why is the Seven of Wands reversed here? King of Swords. <laughs> I 
you're trying to make logical, non-emotional decisions. You're trying to think it through. They, they think you're thinking it through. You're, you're chewing on it. Because you're still processing your own heartache. You're still battling your inner demons. Something is still holding you back. Eight of Pentacles. They think you want to put the work in. You want to work on it. Eight Pentacles, one Pentacle. Okay. So that's seven. Seven Pentacles is the card of patience. Okay. I do numerology while I do this. It, it, it's a numbers thing. More work needs to be done. You want to put the work in. Why is the death card here? Why is the death card here? Nine of Pentacles reversed. Okay. Wow. That's freaking deep. Okay. Let's throw this out there. They want to be there because you need them. Not because you want them. No. Yeah. They want to be needed. They want to feel like you need them. It's more than just a sexual thing for them. Queen of Cups. They want that deep emotion. They want a change to occur. But they want this to evolve into something bigger than either one of you have ever had. Somebody don't want to wait for it, though. Why is the Three of Wands reversed here? Wheel of Fortune in the upright, Eight of Wands in the reverse. Someone feels like things aren't moving fast enough. Someone feels like somebody's not, not speaking their mind. Wheel of Fortune, it, it can be indi indicative of a karmic connection. It can also be indicative of closing out of cycles and things finally changing and evolving. Someone is not willing to wait or doesn't want to wait. Wheel of Fortune is also a divine timing card. Let's do this! One more. Four of Cups. Someone is very much concentrating on things that have happened in the past and isn't looking at the cup that's being handed to them. The moon is also a card of fear. Cancer, I don't know what you're afraid of. I think you're... I think you're seeing a red flag that isn't there. Why is the star reversed here?
Ace of Swords reversed. Seven of Swords reversed. Okay, these are things that aren't happening that need to happen. A conversation needs to be had. For sure. A healing needs to happen, a conversation needs to be had, and everything needs to be brought out on the table. Everything needs to come out, out in the open. One more. Empress reversed. Someone needs to accept that something was not meant to work out and that it is time to move forward. Projected outcome is the lovers. Cancer, this is probably the most beautiful reading I've ever done for you. That is amazing. I, I, I don't want to throw a clarifier on it. I don't. Because th this is a deep, deep soulmate connection. And even if it turns into a relationship and it ends up not working out for whatever reason, this is, this is a soulmate. So, even if it just comes into your life and it's meant to teach you something, it's meant to happen. It's meant to be. That's beautiful, Cancer. I'm super happy for you. Oh my god, I'm super happy for you. Let's get your advice. Oh my gosh. Ten of Wands in the upright and the full reversed. You need to release the burdens of the past and learn to trust yourself again and trust your judgment. Nine of Swords reversed and the Knight of Wands reversed. Don't overthink this. Or you're going to miss the commitment. King of Cups and the Nine of Swords in the upright. It's time to open yourself back up again and end your sleepless nights. This is going to sound super weird, but you're one sword away. You're one sword away. You're one sword away from the sunshine. Eight of Swords reversed and the Ace of Cups reversed. If you don't come out of that cage of your own thoughts, you're going to miss the cup. There's a forest and then the trees, I promise. I promise. There's a forest and then there are trees. If you need a little more time, take it. Absolutely. Take it. I would never tell anyone to rush into anything. Ever. But I don't know how long this connection is going to hang out and wait. I'm an impulsive Sag. I only read cards.
cancer, you guys are beautiful. I fucking love you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by today. This is probably the most beautiful reading I've ever done. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you feel so compelled, I'm not going to twist anybody's arm. I'm available for personal readings. Just shoot us an email. You already know where the information is. I'm not going to spew it out again. I will catch you guys on Friday for the weekend top and bottom of the deck reading. Love you to bits. Catch you later.